So in this video, I'm just going to give you some characteristics about the change in net exports. And there are actually five points. And the first point is that if foreign income, if foreign income uh, rises, if foreign income rises, then your exports will rise. Makes a lot of sense. If a foreign country is making more money, then they have more money to buy stuff. So then they'll probably increase their uh, imports and you'll probably be selling them your exports. So your exports will increase. Second characteristic is if foreign preference, if foreign preference, foreign preferences for domestic product, for domestic product, increase then your exports will increase so for example China they have a lot of preference for uh, Apple's iPhone so then their foreign preferences for the product of the US increase if it keeps on increasing then uh, Apple would just sell more iPhones there exports from the US will probably increase if they're making the iPhones in the US that that is and the third but they're probably not making that everything's made in China these days uh, the third point is if domestic preference if domestic preference for foreign products or foreign products uh, increase increase for foreign products increase then your imports then your imports uh, your imports which is M marginal propensity to import increases so uh, so just this is just the opposite of that I guess so in this case imagine that uh, you're uh, from China and you along with the whole country have a huge preference for Apple products so the, your domestic you live in China so your domestic pro preference for this foreign product that is made by uh, Steve Jobs and Apple from the US is always rising so then your country which is China will import more of those Apple products and that's the third point the fourth point I want to get at is the if relative relative international international price rises price uh, or I can I guess I can abbreviate as rip it's not rest in peace but relative international price if that rises let's just underline this if that rises then then my exports will increase and my imports will in will, will decrease and the formula for this the formula for this would be uh, would be let me change color would be RIP relative international price equals foreign price foreign price over domestic price domestic price and I guess we can abbreviate this as big PF for foreign price and big PD for domestic price and the idea of this uh, characteristic is that if is that uh, say that a foreign country uh, the price of their goods uh, compared to ours is much higher so then they would rather buy from us than buff than buy it than buy it uh, domestically so then the, in, the exports from us will increase and our imports will decrease because we're making it cheaper so I guess in a sense relative international price is kind of like up 
opportunity cost in microeconomics and actually that is what I got from googling it because before I did this video I looked at my scripts that's how I do my videos and I forgot what relative international price was so it might be good to actually do some research on it if you want if you're you know about it but for me I didn't really remember uh, relative international price probably because it wasn't really tested for my course in my introductory course in macroeconomics and lastly the last characteristic is if the exchange rate increases then your exports increases and M would decrease and what what is when E de uh, increases that is when your domestic currency is weaker than before so when your domestic currency is weaker than before then you probably export and not import that is because well pretty much uh, your dollar compared to the other country's dollar is such that we have to pay more of our dollar to get one dollar of the other country's uh, currency so in that sense it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of disadvan disadvantageous to to import when we have such a weak currency so we might as well do some exports to in order to strengthen our currency and that is all I want to go through in this video in the next video we'll go through equilibrium again but this time we're gonna go through the full economy thanks for